Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody having a great beginning of 2023. Y'all, it is 2023. What you think about that? Here it is, we're 2023. You know, I know that there's gonna be a lot of things that's gonna happen in 2023. And, and, and you know, we as Christians, we have to be prepared for it. But you know, I did not, I don't wanna do a video being being um oh uh, uh, being negative right now <laughs> because uh well those videos are gonna come uh talking about what's what's happening and how that correlates with the bible and everything else right now i want to give you some encouragement because there's a lot of good opportunities here in 2023 that that uh that we as christians gonna have i want to tell you the more things happen the more we're going to have the opportunity to witness for Jesus Christ. And, and, and I'm telling y'all, this is going to be, we're going to have a, a, a lot of opportunities with our families, with people that don't know Christ. And, and, and uh, they're going to uh, ask questions and we have to be prepared for that. You know, uh, what's the saying? Uh, it, uh, scriptures, now I have to find it for you. It says, be wise as serpents and harmless as dove. Y'all, we have to be discerning. We have to we have to know what's going on. You know, in 2023, instead of making these dumb resolutions that you're not going to keep a week after uh, 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 after this week, uh, uh, beginning of January, make the commitment. Make the commitment that you are going to be discerning. Stop using this stupid excuse uh, that we're not supposed to judge because that's not found in the Bible. We are supposed to judge. But even without, even with that being said, we're not, we're not going to get into that. What I want you to do is make a commitment that you are going to be discerning. Uh, Matthew 7, 20, 21, thereabouts. It says that, uh, that you shall know their, uh, know them by their fruits. You're going to know a person by their fruits. That's judging. Okay. And regardless of what a, of what a person says, you better judge what they say. Even, even me, whenever I come on here and, and I give you scriptures, whatever I do, uh, my uh, 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 shows, which I'm going to start back here shortly, uh, you have to be discerning as to what is going on. That's the reason why whenever I'm, I'm giving any type of uh, Bible study, I'm always saying that you need to have your Bible with you. Because in today's, uh, in, in uh, today, you have more deceivers out here, out the, out here, uh, that, that's looking for the opportunity to pray on God's sheep. And you have to understand that. So in 2023, be more discerning more than anything else. Don't allow people that, uh, that, that, that you've trusted in the past be the person that's going to lead you, uh, uh, into religion instead of a personal fellowship and personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Let that be your commitment. Um, uh, let's see what else. I, I was going to talk about something else y'all. And, and, and here's another thing that you can make a commitment on too. be committed that you're not going to get distracted this year. We got, we got distracted with, uh, uh, Kanye West, uh, who, who's, uh, showing his fruits right now. And regardless of what you think of him, he's showing his fruits. And, uh, and when I mean showing his fruits, he's showing that, uh, that, that he's more of an opportunist and, and, and more, uh, more of a person that is a false teacher than anything else. I'll go on. But anyway, use, uh, use the, uh, don't don't get distracted by these people that want to uh, get you so caught up with uh, uh, something that's not menial that you're not seeing through all the smoke and mirrors. What do I mean that by that? You're not seeing what the enemy is doing, what the uh, the major uh, moves that the enemy the enemy is doing because you're getting caught up in in all this other garbage. Understand that we have a real enemy and we're in a real war. Now, if you want to put your head in the sand and act like nothing's really happening, that's on you. And you can do that. But the fact of the matter is, that doesn't mean that we're, we're still not in the war. That doesn't mean that while you got your head stuck in the sand, that, uh, that the enemy is not going to try to take your children. 
and he's doing that at a very drastic uh, pace. You don't have to have that to happen. You don't have to have that to happen. You can be the spiritual leader that God wants you to be, and you can lead your family to Christ instead of uh, allowing your family to go into the way of destruction. Well, I'm here at my church, and yes, you need to find a Bible-believing, Bible-preaching, Bible, -preaching, Bible uh, I guess those are the only two, uh, church. Victory Christian Fellowship is a great church for, uh, for that because that's exactly what we do. You will be treated like a a, a fellow brother or sister, or you, you'll be treated like a person instead of as a number. You'll be treated like like uh, God loves you more than anything else because we know that God uh, loves you because he loves us. That's gonna, With that being said, that's going to be about it for right now. I'm going to go ahead and sign off and so I can go ahead and be on time at church. Uh, with, uh, so God bless you guys and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.